welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a highly requested video which is looking at my fabric stash. So I'm going to be showing you guys pretty much all of my fabrics that I have in my stash currently. So this video is going to be a fairly long one I can imagine because there are a lot of fabrics and I'm going to try and show you as quickly as possible. I'll also try and remember where most things are from although there's been some fabrics in my stash for three years or more so I will try and remember I will list anything below if I'm able to but yeah if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and let's get started <laughs> So if you watch all of my videos then you would have seen my kind of craft room tour and the mention of my studio storeroom which is in a little cupboard kind of thing next door and the amount of requests that I've had from people saying we want to see that cupboard today's the day so I'm gonna film inside what I like to call Aladdin's cave and you can see the mayhem that goes on behind that closed door. <laughs> it's rather rainy and horrible, but anyway, I have to come outside. And then this is my little store cupboard. Is all of my craft materials and storage and all of that kind of stuff. Basically my Aladdin's cave. There's boxes of patterns. There's another box of patterns. It's all a bit chaos. And then all of this is fabric. So, like I said, I'll try and show you as much as possible in this video, but I might not get through all of it. But I have tried to, like, keep boxes of scraps as well. So some of it is obviously big fabrics that are, you know, two, three, four metres. And then others, like this box here, is like a scrap box. So I feel like today is the perfect day for filming this video because it is pouring with rain and I feel super cosy. And I've got my fabric stash next to me. Well, I've got a couple of boxes. And because it is raining so heavily, I'm just gonna go and get a couple of boxes at a time. So let's crack on in. I have so many fabrics, I just knocked my camera. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, I'm actually showing you this box of fabrics first. This box lives in my cube unit, calic unit tower. These are the fabrics that I want to sew in the near future. A lot of them are summery fabrics. Um, we, you know, the summer that we've had there's not been very many summary makes that have actually been able to be worn, but I live in hope. So the first one, this is probably one of my newer ones that I've just been sent, and it is this Broderie Anglaise from Rainbow Fabrics. It's a really cute Broderie Anglaise with like a little heart on it, and it's really cute. I actually accidentally got sent some from their latest drop, and then I also ordered some. <laughs> I completely forgot, so I've got two loads of three meters of this. So if anyone has any ideas of what to make with body anglaise, broderie anglaise, ideally just don't want to have to line it because it just takes forever. So I'm thinking some cute blouses, maybe the Amphia blouse. Next fabric, also from Rainbow Fabrics. I think, to be honest, most of the fabrics in this particular box are Rainbow Fabrics. So unless I say otherwise, they're from Rainbow Fabrics. This one is a really cute peachy fabric with some lilac cherries. I think this is so much fun and I have no idea yet what I'm going to make with it. But I think this would be a really cute wrap dress. So I'm thinking a little strappy wrap dress. I have got a pattern actually that um, that Tamlin from Sewn on a Time makes quite a lot. And I want to make that so I'll leave the name of it on the screen because it's such a beautiful pattern. I think this would be a really fun summery make. Next fabric is another viscose, oh, should have mentioned that was a viscose. Another viscose and it's just a standard kind of pink, pretty, flowery viscose. And I quite like the fact it's not too colourful, it's just pink and white, which is quite nice. And believe it or not, this is like a neutral for me. <laughs> I feel like pink is just like my go-to shade and the fact that it's got the white flowers is really nice, it's quite drapey. I think I've got about two and a half metres here, maybe three metres and it's probably going to make a little smock dress I'm thinking maybe an indigo dress or something like that so yeah really really cute fabric and that's one of those staple fabrics that will definitely get used but it's one of those go-to's that if I'm looking for a summer dress or something cute then I can use that next fabric has been in my stash for over a year now and it's because I saw Tilly and the Buttons Tilly buying it and I was like I need that in my life and I actually can't remember what this fabric is called if anyone knows can you um, say it in the comments it's a crinkly fabric I think it's a, like a crinkly cotton or something I can't remember 
what the name of that style of fabric is and obviously you can see it's a rainbow gingham and it's so cute and I just haven't found the perfect project for it yet. I have two meters. I'm pretty sure it's 140 wide, something like that. But yeah, I'm absolutely stumped at what to make with it because it's quite a lightweight fabric. So that therefore it, you know, it would need lining maybe. Um, or again, it could be a cute top. But what cute top do I make? I'm really stumped, honestly. I bought it because I was like, I need this fabric in my life and I've actually not made it into anything so any suggestions would be welcome where i got this from as well i actually can't remember i think it might it might have been fabric godmother or lamazi fabrics it was a brand that i saw on instagram again because tilly tagged it so i'll try and find it <laughs> and i'll show you because tilly obviously made something with it um so i'll link that below if it's still available or i'll obviously pop the info in the description box next fabric is another favorite color of mine it's this beautiful sage green abstract gingham fabric and I've got about three meters here so quite a lot my plan was to make a shirt and matching shorts for the summer and we're in August and I've still not made it and it's currently raining so much outside so actually I think I might make a shirt dress with long sleeves and it can be wear worn in autumn winter spring etc it'll be more of like a a staple thing that I could wear with leggings or I could just wear it bare legged in the summer so I'm thinking a shirt dress for this and not sure what pattern yet, maybe a, a hacked Ilford pattern from Friday Pattern Company with the placket sleeve or something. I think that might be quite cute. Next fabric is actually a remnant. So I've already made something in this fabric and it was highly sought after on So Me Sunshine. It's this really gorgeous jacquard fabric and I've actually had people messaging me asking to buy this remnant from me. <laughs> I'm like no it's mine and I'm gonna make some shorts or a little skirt with it so I cannot part of it I'm afraid but it's so pretty I made the heather blazer which I'll pop a little photo of it here and I just love it so much and I cannot wait to make something matching with that but yeah that was from Sew Me Sunshine and she sold out unfortunately but yeah it's such a beautiful fabric next in my stash is this blue such a gorgeous like cobalt blue it's a viscose and it's all fruity kind of print on it it's got lots of different fruits like raspberries blackberries um strawberries super cute this is a rainbow fabrics and i think this is three meters worth of fabric here but again such a gorgeous blue and i don't really know what to make of it i'm kind of running out of ideas for visco so i'm finding a lot of patterns recently are more of like a, a stiffer cotton especially if they've got like a big puff sleeve or something like that so any suggestions for this hold it up to me what can you vision as it vision it as <laughs> this is only a section of my stash as well by the way so i hope you i hope you've got yourself a cup of tea and you're <laughs> watching this because i think this is going to be a long video i've got this beautiful like polyester crepe and this is in a yellow color i think this one was from rainbow but it's a really good like base one for me to do twirls in next fabric is a knit fabric i don't have many knits in my stash but this is one of them and i picked this up from the stitch festival from a brand called by grazier they have some really really gorgeous very very good quality jerseys and knit fabrics and i just absolutely love this stripe and i really want to make me and willow maybe a, um, a matching pajama t-shirt that we can wear and then i was going to do some like little pajama trousers or something in in another fabric like a cotton or something but i thought this would make a really cute little matching set for willow or maybe me and her matching top so yeah i absolutely love it i think there's about a meter and a half maybe two meters so i could probably make myself a little crop top and make her like a proper little top with it i also have these remnants of tilly and the buttons jersey that I've used for various projects because I had quite a lot of it. I've used it for lining in my raincoat. I've used it in a lining for Willow's raincoat. I've also made some leggings for Willow when she was a baby. So there's definitely enough left to make another pair of leggings or something for Willow here. Just a case of when will I get time. <laughs> Next up is this box of what I like to call wintery fabrics. And then there's a few little additional bits. I'm not gonna get them all out just because they're so heavyweight and they're hard to fold up. But the first batch of these fabrics are remnants from my, my Barbie quilted vest that I made. I'll leave a card for the video at the top there so you can see those in more detail. And then I've got some really gorgeous fleece. This was for a project that I made, an Arlo track jacket at the start of the year. And I have quite a lot left. So much so that I'm going to make some more fleecy kind of jumpers and stuff like that in the winter. 
I've got so much that I'll probably make one for my husband because I've got some really cool, like, nice colours here. And it'll be my first sort of step into menswear as well. So I've got some nice fabrics for him. And I've got this really nice sweatshirt jersey. The uh, This one is from Rainbow Fabrics. It's kind of got, like, a, a towel-y kind of feel on the inside. That's from Rainbow Fabrics, but the two fleeces are from myfabrics.co.uk and they have so many colours and they're really, really good quality. So if you're starting to think about autumn winter makes, then I highly recommend their fleece because it washed really well. I wore my Arlo track jacket like so much and it washes beautifully. So I'll leave that linked below. Next box, oh my gosh, you guys, this is absolute carnage. <laughs> I hope no one is sat at home watching this judging my amount of fabrics by the way because this is literally just like a snippet and I feel awful like you know when you just feel like oh my god why have we got so many fabrics but oh my god isn't it just like so joyful when you just want these beautiful fabrics anyway next fabric is another viscose but this has been in my stash for over a year and it's just another one of those things that I just didn't get time to make it into anything so it's laying in waiting for me and it's a really beautiful purple. I love it with the rust flowers on the middle and I just think that's so pretty. Again, not sure what I'll make with it. Holding up to me, I'm not really a purple person. I don't really think it, tell me if it suits me, I have no idea, but I don't think this particular purple suits my color colorway. I'm a warm spring, by the way, if anyone looks into seasonal color trends. I'm not sure if this is my color, but I just loved it anyway. And I think it's super, super pretty. I then have this medium heavyweight brown cotton. I think it's a cotton or a canvas. And this has been in my stash for ages. I promised my husband an Ilford jacket about two years ago. And our child came along. And <laughs> the rest is history. And it's still here waiting to be made. But yeah, I'm hoping to make Chris a really nice brown. Just a staple jacket in his wardrobe. And I will get around to it, Chrissy, if you're watching. Because... Yeah, I just keep making things for myself. <laughs> I also have a huge amount of this ready-made quilting fabric left from Fabric Godmother. As you can see, I'm wearing my little quilted vest in this video. I have so much left. So this is just gonna be a matching quilt for Willow and also a friend of mine asked for a quilted jacket or quilted vest. So eventually I will get round to making her one as well when I have the time. It's again, it's one of those things that if I had all the time in the world, I'd make everyone something special but I don't so <laughs> the brown fabric by the way the canvas that was a rainbow fabrics the quilting fabric is from fabric godmother I'm not sure they've got it left anymore but they do usually do ready-made quilting fabrics in the autumn winter the purple fabric was from rainbow and then this one I'm about to show you I think you're going to absolutely love and it's actually from the wholesaler pigeon wishes it's a beautiful fabric so if anyone is a fabric store watching this go and get this fabric because it's so stunning in person. It's a lilac coating. So this is going to become a really gorgeous coat and I haven't decided on a pattern yet. I'm thinking a little vintage coat pattern or something, but how beautiful. Let me try and show you closer to the camera. It's so pretty. It's a really nice weight. I can just imagine it with like a gorgeous little collar, maybe even in like a contrasting fabric and just a really simple plain coat. I just think it's beautiful and it's it just feels really premium but again I just haven't cut into it yet and I cannot wait to make it with some big like chunky fancy buttons from my Pigeon Wishes collection maybe the big like uh, Ophelia button that's like a marbled green and purple button I think that'll be chef's kiss <sighs> I'm actually out of breath because it's like <sighs> so tiring picking up boxes of fabric oh, we're getting there guys I hope you're enjoying seeing these. <laughs> this fabric is beautiful and I love it so much, but it's just something that I just haven't, again, I'm a broken record, but I just haven't had time to use it. And it was from one of the So Haley Jane boxes last year. I actually contributed to one of the boxes with a really cute woven label. If you bought the So Haley Jane box that particular month, then you'll see it. It was like, a little label that had sewn in summer or something like that summer sewn and this was one of the fabrics that came with it that month and it was to make a pair of trousers and it's a plisse kind of fabric like a crepe kind of fabric really really gorgeous and i'm not sure where it was from because i've lost my little booklet but 
if anyone remembers pop it in the description box below because I think that's so pretty and the colours are so me as well I just don't know what to make I think probably ooh, I've, ah, I'm dro dropping it everywhere I think probably a saguaro set would be really cool in this and it'd be something that I could wear you know each summer sticking with the pink theme as you guys can see I have a lot of pink fabrics in my stash but pink is just my colour and this one is super cute. This was another rainbow fabrics and it's a viscose because I feel like they're very well known for their viscoses. And how cool is this? It's a really cute flower gingham. I feel like this is really on brand for me but I don't know what to make with it yet. I'm feeling some kind of dress. Because of the squares in the fabric, it keeps scaring me because I know that it's, it's gonna slip all over the place when I cut it out. And I'm going to have to be very precise with my cuts because of the squares and how it fits together. Because I made a indigo dress a few years ago with a fabric that had a kind of square detail to it. And I just see it all the time when I'm going to put the dress on. I see that the squares are slightly off. So yeah, it does put me off. But it is a really cute fabric. So maybe I'll wear, I'll make something like a wrap dress that you're not really going to see the kind of square cut off quite so much as if you would if you had like... A smock dress with a big gathered skirt or something the next fabric is going to shock you guys because it's probably the one fabric that i own that's actually not a pink green or a pastel or a bright color and it's this black this is i think some kind of satiny fabric i actually can't remember what it's called maybe it feels like a rayon kind of texture but it's really really drapey and i love it and i actually think this is going to make a skirt just like a really basic skirt and I've had this in my stash for a couple of years but eventually it will become something I know it I just haven't decided what yet but I'm feeling a cute little skirt maybe like the Saturday skirt set um Friday Pattern Company skirt or something along those lines so yeah maybe even a bias skirt if I've got enough because on the bias it does it does feel quite nice and so maybe I could even make like a bias little slip skirt to wear with sneakers and cute little vesty kind of things next fabric is i think these both actually both of these fabrics are probably rainbow fabrics to be honest um but i got this really beautiful one that is destined to become a pretty sheer blouse i just think it's so gorgeous look at this how gorgeous is that i think i might even make a sagebrush top or something isn't that beautiful it's got a sheerness to it hello and it's just so delicate and I think this is some kind of like cotton or something like that but yeah I just thought it was so pretty and actually it's printed on one side but you can see the print on both sides that's so quite nice actually but this is just going to be such a gorgeous top I could make it as a dress if I wanted to line it but I'm actually visualizing this more as like a sagebrush top but yeah it's so beautiful I've had this in my stash for a couple of years now it's been waiting to be made into something and Maybe I'll keep that in my to make list. I might even, yeah, I'm gonna pop this in my basket of things that I wanna make soon because it's just so pretty. Next fabric is this more medium weight viscose actually. And how cool is this like dotty print? This is like an abstract dot, kind of a polka dot, but a bit more splodgy like. Really nice green colour. This is gonna be something for autumn, winter, maybe a shirt, or something along those lines. So yeah super pretty also from rainbow fabrics <laughs> so i'm on to the last box of fabrics that i'm going to show in this video there's two more in my studio but one is like a scrap box and the other one is knit fabrics and they're just like plain jerseys so they're nothing particularly that crazy or that special that i want to show you but this box this last box has some fun bits in it so i think you're going to love what's inside some of which i've had in my stash for about three or four years <laughs> And again, I've just not found the right project yet for them. Starting off with this oil cloth. This I have actually just brought this year at the Stitch Festival. And I always forget the brand name, but I'll leave it links below because they are known for their oil cloth fabric. So an oil cloth is something you can make into raincoats. You can make aprons. You can make lots of lovely things with them, to be honest. But I'm going to make Willow a little raincoat with this one. I love the olive kind of colour background and this like ditzy flower. And I've made Willow a couple of raincoats now. Blue one for when she was like three months old, which when I look back on it, I'm like, why did I make her raincoat? Put all that work into it for something that she wore literally once. Um, and then I made her another one, which she wore when she was about 
10, 11 months. So I'm gonna make it in like a bigger size this time so that she's got, you know, a couple of autumn winters to wear it and just make it oversized, why not? And I'm gonna make the Waves and Wild Woodland Wanderer coat. I love that pattern on her and it's such a lovely make. I got this cotton, this is from Higgs and Higgs and this was a really cute remnant that I picked up at the Stitch Festival. I loved it because of the butterflies and the flowers and I think I might make Willow a little party dress or something in this because it's really pretty and because it's kind of a smaller print I think it will work well on her rather than on me but I just love it and I'm thinking a little Lizard King pattern because if you haven't seen those patterns for kids yet you have to go and look at their Instagram. They do some amazing video tutorials and I'm obsessed like they're the kind of video that I'll literally sit and watch like on repeat because they're so satisfying so yeah I'll probably make her a little dress with this. This fabric is probably the longest serving fabric in my stash <laughs> and it's from Ruby Star Society and it's so cool. It is a a rayon, a cotton maybe? I actually can't remember, I cannot remember. It's a cotton I think, I'm pretty sure it's a cotton, but it's a lightweight cotton, so I don't think it's a quilting cotton, although I could be wrong. Let me... The print is done by Melody Miller. It doesn't actually say, but I love the fact that the selvage has like a really cool little design and it says you're stronger than you know on it, which is just so cool. And the rainbow and phone print, I think this is destined to be some kind of retro retro dress. So I might even take one of my vintage patterns and upscale it, because they're all so tiny, um, upscale it and make a twirl and then create a dress from it. And the thing is, with retro styles, is I love them, but I don't actively wear them because I don't really have anywhere to wear them. I don't want to cut into it because it's so pretty and it cost me quite a lot of money at the time. And it's got this gold sort of detailing through it. It's just a beautiful fabric, but again, it's so special that it needs to be the right project before I start cutting into it, so I just haven't found that yet. I'm going to show you three more fabrics because I feel like this video will end up being like an hour long. So this one as you can see, it's actually a skirt, but I've put it in my fabric box because I want to reuse it and make something else, probably for Willow. And this was my own fabric design that I put up on Spoonflower a few years ago. I just haven't been able to invest time in making more prints, but I just love the idea of doing more prints eventually. And it is a party ring fabric, which I just think is so much fun. And yeah, there's enough fabric here in this skirt which I can make something for Willow and I think it will be so cute, like a little party dress. This is another fabric that I designed myself and it's the fruity fabric. I'll leave my spoon flower designs below for you guys so if you want to go and check them out you can. They're very summery, there's partying biscuits, ice creams, fruits. So if you fancy having a little look then I will leave the spoon flower link below for you guys. So yeah, this one is a cotton poplin and again, probably make something for Willow with this. Last fabric that I'm gonna show you guys because this video is super long, so I hope you've been enjoying it, but the last one is this really beautiful silk satin, and this was a rainbow fabric, and when I saw it, I like low-key gasped because it's so beautiful. The color is just stunning. It's like just purpley pink, so I just, how beautiful is that? And this is gonna be a Friday Pattern Company saltwater slip dress. And I might try and do a hack so that I create like a, a swoopy sort of neckline. But this is just gonna be a long, sort of below the knee dress with a slit in it. And it's gonna be something that I can wear for a dinner date or something of the like. I just thought it was so beautiful. And again, I know exactly what I wanna make. It's just getting the chance to make it. Story of my life. So that is it my loves, I hope you enjoyed seeing all my fabrics and my stash. I know there's a few I didn't get to show you but they're not as fun as all the other ones so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this, I've got a lot of work in progress projects in a basket waiting to be made, do you want to see those? Do you want to see my patterns? I think if I showed you my patterns I'd low-key have to be filming for about two hours because I have so many but maybe I could do a top 20 picks or something like that of my patterns. I don't know, you guys let me know. I love to hear your suggestions. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already and you've got this far, then please subscribe to my channel. I do lots of chatty vlogs, sew alongs, crafty content and all that kind of fun stuff. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Bye.